Hey guys, this is little me. Yeah, my hair sucks. <laughs> so it is um, 11.57 and it is still Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and do my um, rune for um, this week coming up, which will be here in about two minutes. Um, I had to do a makeshift, um, a makeshift um, tripod. <laughs> Yes, I am poor and everything. So, as I said in my previous video, that if I, um, if I draw the same rune, I will draw another rune. And as I go along doing this, I will, um, of course, a lot of times end up drawing the same rune. So, yeah. So I'm going to... See what I get. Alright. And oh, I got a new rune. Okay. So I got this rune here. And it is um let me look here. Do, do, do. I did do, do um okay, it's part of the same um it's part of tires. Um I um it and um it means um it's called the rune is called uh Othia Othia uh the letters O mean is property tree is Hawthorne summary aid in spiritual and physical journeys womb of the goddess increase and abundance and that is just what um the chart says. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually um, just um, extend this and I'm going to get this down here. Alright, see if I can, um, okay, so good, I'm, okay, um, okay. This is rune 24 and it is the uh, last rune in the um, set and it is uh, ancestral uh, property. And what a lot of people have to understand about the Old Norse is that ancestral property meant a lot to them. And it says here, the old sun, the old dramatic Futhark is represented by Ophila, whose form may be the derivative of the Greek Omega. It appears with the same form in the Anglo Saxon far first heart as Ethel, meaning homeland or property. However, in the younger first heart, the O sound was represented by U or AU. Later, the Anglo Saxon OS derived from as AS, a god, appears to have been borrowed by the Norse as OS. All right, so it says here in Old Norse, the congregate word to Ethel or Othal, which has a variety of meanings. The oldest perhaps is noble, like the Anglo Saxon Ethel and and Athelin, uh, or noble by derivative. This extended to property held in. O Lodal tenured in unbroken session from father to son for three generations or for thirty years, or that which through some other legal provision had become inevitable to the family. The status of Oldal lands was was much like that of entailed property English law. So um and there's a poem here, it says here, An estate is very dear to every man, if he may be rightly and peacefully enjoy in the hall frequent harvest. Okay, the modern meaning, now, um, I'll, go, I'll read this a little bit, and then I'll go to the modern meaning, because it, it, it's um, talked about in the Havamal, which is Havamal number 36. To your own farm is better, though it be small. To everyone his own home is a hall. Through two gulps you have in a thrashed, thrashed roof that's better than begging. 
Okay, in modern meaning, to Thorson Ophahal is the clan stronghold, the sacred enclosure, the spiritual heritage or inevitable inherited qualities of a clan or family transmuted by the, I can't even pronounce it, in totality, these qualities comprise the kin fench, the rune governs wise management of resources and the prosperity of the family. It is a rune of kingship. This is also a rune of Odin, symbolizing the distinction between the protected and orderly world of kin and community and the open alien world into which the rune wise go to obtain knowledge. Ulthahal is a state of balance between order and chaos, which the community safely enclose. It is the inside or self as distinct from eternal externals, the immediate social group, the spiritual homeland. It indicates stable prosperity and well-being as well as growth, although one must always be vigilant to preserve custom and order in appearance in a reading may indicate a new home or productive interaction with outsiders. Its op op opposite or perversion is totalitarianism and slavery. And there's a lot, um, there's a whole section on this, which I, I'm going to tell you something, this is what I really do happen um, to like about this book. Um, she really goes into a lot of detail about each of these rooms, which I think is uh, great. Um, let's see here, um, I'm going to go here and skip to... Um, interpretation or using alcohol. In reading this rune, it may refer to individual family, whether physical or spiritual, in a place in his community. It may indicate living conditions, fine house, or a congenial roommates, for example. Now, reading this, I'm really shocked this is what it means because me and my family are looking for a new place to live. Um, it can be used to strengthen family ties and to recover the family's cultural inheritance. It helps one to access wisdom and power from all parts of one's heritage, including past lives and reading. It may mean contact with the homeland of one's physical or spiritual ancestors. It can help with the acquisition of possessions and immobile properties such as land and protect what is your own. You use alcohol in all workings involving the protection or strengthening of home and family in a buying room with um, another one, it wards the threshold, so yeah, so you can, you know, you can use it. All right, so um, that is it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually um, basically put a little mark. Come on. Here. All right, <coughs> so... Yeah, so I hope that um, it's helped you in some way. Um, so I'll be back um, probably later on this, um, tell you back, I will be back later on this week because I've got a delivery coming in and a couple of items besides the three I mentioned are Christmas presents. And so I, you know, I don't want, you know, mom to find out. So um, I'll see you guys uh, later on this week probably either Thursday or Saturday. Another thing is, um, I'm gonna do one more video and because I am tackling the sagas again. Um, I have the sagas on, I have the saga on Kindle, which is the um, Poetic Edas. So um, I'm going to actually talk about one of them that I do remember very well what it's about. And so, um, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.